Hi everyone. Today we are going to do a demo on file downloading in Blazor WebAssembly application. Okay. So here is my Blazor WebAssembly project that was created with framework.NET 6. Okay, the plugin I want to install is Microsoft.extensions.http. Let's install the plugin. Okay, now let's register the add HTTP client in the program.cs file. Add HTTP client service registered. Now for our demo, let me create a model class. Model models in that let me add a class like file container dot cs so this is my model class let me add few properties to it okay these are the properties i required now in the pages go to index dot riser file let's implement our file download logic here okay so first let me get rid of existing code. Let's inject IHTTP client factory first. Okay, also inject the IJS runtime. Okay, to interact with the JavaScript. So first let me add some HTML to display image and below that a button to download the image okay so here is my html where i am going to display image and i am going to add a button so on clicking that button, our image will be downloaded. Okay. Now in the code block, first let's initialize the our file container. So before doing that, let's import the namespace into I import dot riser file. Okay. That models. So that I can easily access my model class. I will name my image like and I am going to use this image to download. Okay. I am copying this URL. You can take your own URL. Okay. Now the thing is let's bind these properties here. Okay. So for the SRC, we can do. dot image url okay now let's create a method for button click event okay so here is my method which takes image url and image name as the input parameter okay now let's create a request object So to this request message, what I can do, I can specify the type like get and I can pass the image URL that I want to download. Okay. Now let's create a HTTP client instance from the HTTP client factory by create client. Okay. Now our response equal to await HTTP client dot send async okay so this is going to be invoke the api call so to this we have to pass our request object and now finally let's 
read the stream stream of image data okay read stream is okay i am directly reading the stream of data now let's get the javascript reference of the stream okay so for that what we can do using so this is a shortcut notation name it like stream ref okay new dot net stream reference okay so to this instance i need to pass my normal stream reference okay that is i am the stream reference so this is going to give the create a reference of dot net stream sent to the javascript so javascript understandable stream will be generated from this dot net stream reference okay so from this i have to pass my stream of data to the javascript for that what i can do i will use yes and invoke async okay here i have to specify my javascript method name and here i can pass my input parameters to the javascript so i will pass file name as well as the stream that was understand by the javascript okay so till now what we have did we have created a method that is going to register with the button download click okay and in that method we have register the http client instance and we call the response and we read the response as a stream then that stream is generated as a stream understood understand by the javascript okay now let's register the uh, click method for this button okay to this method i need to pass the image url okay so file container dot image url comma file container dot image name file name okay so we are done with the blazor changes let's create a javascript core where our logic for downloading take place and in the ww root folder let's create a folder like js okay inside of js let's let me create a file like app.js okay now let me add my uh, javascript function I'll use async functions and i will name like download image okay so this is going to take two input parameters like file name and the stream okay i will name it like file stream now let's get the buffer array of buffer from the stream we got from the blazor okay so i will name like array buffer equal to it is a synchronous call so i will file stream dot array buffer is my method okay the, the, those are built-in methods of javascript okay now let's assign them to blob blob instance so blob instance is for uh, handling the files okay so blob which is javascript default method where it takes the array buffer okay so let's pass as our buffer as a array to it okay now what i can do constant url equal to url which is a javascript property create object url okay that takes blob as a input parameter okay so this create object is a method uh, which generates a url for downloading okay now let's create a one more method okay reusable method so i will name it like trigger image download okay so it's going to take input parameter like file name and the url okay so this url we are going to input this url okay so now what it will do means it will generate a url right so 
now what we can do means constant okay we are going to generate a dynamic anchor element okay document dot create element of anchor tag okay once the anchor tag dynamic anchor tag is created what we will do to that anchor element href we are going to assign our generated url okay now what we can do to that anchor element i can pass my file name to the download so this file name will be used for the download into your system okay now what i can do anchor element dot click so this line of code will trigger automatically we are here, what we are doing dynamically generating anchor tag right and to that anchor tag we have assigned our url blob url so we are dynamically invoking the click event so uh, on executing this line file gets downloaded okay next what we will do after execution means download completed we want to remove that dynamically added anchor element okay so let's call this method here trigger image download and i am going to pass my file name sorry file name comma and the url i have created here blob url okay and finally i want the uh, re relieve the resources of the url for that what we have to do means on this one after our job is completed we have to free the resources okay by passing this url okay so that is our logic so here what we are doing on getting the stream i am generating as a buffer and i am storing into the blob from that blob using the url create object i am creating the url so that url what i am doing i am assigning to a dynamic anchor tag and dynamically clicking it once the job is done i am removing that anchor anchor element and finally we are freeing the resources as well okay so that's all about and let's copy this method name and we want to invoke from here okay one more thing i want to do i need to reference the yes we have just created okay so let's reference it okay let's run the application so here is my application so now i am clicking on the download button the image is downloaded with the specified name if i double click on it i can preview my image so that's all about the downloading the image in blazor webassembly application i hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all so if you like my video please support me by subscribing to my channel soon we will meet you with a new content until then signing off